Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to go over how to duplicate falloff objects. Um, 2017 update 1 has, um, there's now like two ways to do that. Um, and then, um, has introduced two ways to do that, sorry. And then I'm also going to go into like the anatomy of um, sharing falloff objects between nodes. So um, in this scene, there's only one falloff object and it's being used by an offset node and a color node. So, um, okay, uh, let's get started. So I'm just going to delete to this mesh network and then we'll start again. So we'll select uh, the cube and create a new network. And then I'm going to change the distribution type to grid and um, change these settings 40, 40, 20, 20. And then, um, okay, let's just add an offset node and uh, we'll move the objects up 10 and then we will scale them up by three and then we'll flip them over. Why ever not? So, um, that's what the offset node is doing. So we want to control that with a fall off node. So let's roll down the fall off object and then just hit create. So here's a fall off object. Um, now uh, let's change a couple of the settings. So if we go to the fall off object, um, just but through the connections menu, we can just change the inner zone and then let's change the interpolation, something like that. And then, um, yeah, so you can move this around or whatever and do what you like with it. Um, scale it or not. So um, yeah, here's our follow-up object. And then if we in the mesh network were to add a color node, like so, um, what you can do is uh, say we want a follow-up object on this one, but we want um, we want it based on this follow-up object, but we uh, we um, don't want to share the same follow-up object for whatever reason. Um, right, what you need to do is uh, if you can um, middle mouse drag and then hold down the Alt key. And then if you let go, what that will do is it will clone the fall off object that you've got. So notice how the new fall off object that we've created has the same inner zone and the same interpolation types. And it's now also uh, connected to the uh, color node here. So um, that's one way of doing it. And then what we need to do in this situation, and I'll explain why later, you need to actually scale this up a little bit. Um, and then you can, you know, you could animate these two fall off objects together and we could do the effect that way. So, um, okay, that's cool. Fine. Fair enough. Uh, I'll just show you in the node editor, uh, what's going on here. I'll just quickly dock this like there. And then, um, if we just look at the mesh network, get rid of that and that and that, um, like so. Okay, so uh, let's have a quick look at the anatomy of a mesh network. So we've got a distribute node here, and then the distribute node feeds into an offset node, feeds into a color node, into the waiter, into the repro, and into the uh, the mesh. Uh, da, 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 da. So that is the anatomy of a mesh network. So fall offs. Fall offs need some positions that go into them, and then they feed out some strengths, um, like per particle strengths, as it were. Um, per point strengths, I guess. Um, so uh, the positions in the distribute node, positions from the distribute node, I sometimes talk too quickly even for myself, um, go into the uh, fall off shape here for the, um, for the offset node and then the strengths go out of that fall off into the offset node. Um, and then for the color, same thing happens. The positions go out of the offset node and then into the fall off and then out of the, um, out of the, uh, out of the fall off and into the color node. So um, let's just delete this fall off completely. And then uh, watch what happens if we just duplicate the, um, if we duplicate the uh, offset fall off. So we're not holding down alt or anything here. So we just duplicated that. And then if we select the mesh color node here and then just drag this completely non-connected uh, fall off object onto our, uh, on, onto the fall off drop zone for the color node, notice how it's now, it's been kind of like hooked up correctly. So this is um, new in 2017 update one. So uh, this didn't used to happen. Um, it would only get connected on one end uh, just because of a bug and uh, it meant that um, it didn't really work. So uh, so that has been fixed. So you can do that. So you can alt drag. Um, so like I said, so just said before, so middle mouse drag, then hold down the alt key, let go, and then that will clone the full-off object for you. So there you go, that's cloned. Um, and then you can just duplicate in the in the outliner and then drag and drop it on. And so that's kind of like how you duplicate mash, uh, mash full-off objects. Uh, now, what happens if you want to um, share the same full-off object? Well, basically, 
you um, would select, uh, you would add the fall off object to the node nearest the distribute node, right? Um, and the reason for that is because we actually want to use the positions from the distribute node. So remember the grid positions? If we turn the offset off, so we want to use these positions to trigger uh, what gets color, not the offset positions. So uh, I want um, when the fall off object is in this um, is stationed here. I want uh, the objects to be blue, right, in here, um, and then n uh, not if the objects are kind of like um, up here. So, oh, I should <laughs> explain that really badly. Um, basically, um, I need to if I just scale this down slightly, like so. So the fall off objects, right, is it's smaller. Um, it's it finishes before the objects do. So the objects are kind of up here now, right? So if this fall off object was controlling the color, these objects wouldn't wouldn't be blue uh, because they're not inside the fall off object. So let's I'll show you that now. Um, whoops. So there you go. So they're not blue because they're not inside the fall off object. So we added the fall off object here normally. Um, so that's not good. We actually want uh, the objects to be blue, depending on like if they're if they were within the fall off object when they were in their original grid positions. So the way that you do that is simply dragging and dropping the fall off object. So you sh we're sharing the fall off object now. So the positions go from the distribute node into the fall off object, and then based on those positions, they get offsets and they get color. So now you can see that even though they are no longer inside the fall off, um, fall off sphere, as it were, um, they're still inheriting uh, the color from the color node uh, because it's based on the positions that they were in the grid, which is these positions, not where they are after they've been through the offset node. So hopefully that kind of explains that. And that done, we can set uh, some keyframes on this. So let's go to frame one and then like type in a scale of like 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, like that. And then on frame 50, we'll set like 190, 190, 190, something like that. And then the editor will add a spring node and then we'll turn off scale. And then if we hit rewind and play, whoa, not backwards, we get this. So we need to enable background color because I forgot to do that before. And then let's give this like a dark background color, hit rewind and then hit play. So there you go. So now we've got this background color as well. Uh, and that's basically how you, um, that's basically how you do it. <laughs> Uh, that's how you share fall off objects and that's how you copy fall off objects. So I hope you find it useful. And um, there's a little bit more going on than you think, uh, but once you kind of, you you know the anatomy of a mesh network and how everything kind of flows through it, um, yeah, hopefully it's not too complicated.